The case study of HM can be used to support the multi-store model of memory. HM was Henry Malayson and he suffered from epilepsy. He asked a doctor to help him. One doctor thought he could help him by removing the hippocampus in HM's brain. After the operation, HM's epilepsy did stop, but his long-term memory was damaged. For example, if he was asked to remember a film he'd seen yesterday or some shapes he'd looked at in the morning, he couldn't remember them at all. However, his short-term memory did work, so he could remember things in the last 20 seconds or so. The case study of HM shows that memory is not one thing, but is made up of different stores. Otherwise, there wouldn't be a difference between his short and long-term memory. So the case study of HM supports the multi-store model of memory. The multi-store model of memory says that memory is made up of different stores, sensory memory, short-term memory, and long-term memory. So let's look at the multi-store model of memory in a little bit more detail. Sensory memory is when information from the environment is taken in and it's held in this store for a fraction of a second. If we pay attention to that information, it goes into short-term memory. This is a memory store that can hold information for up to 20 seconds. Then, if we rehearse the information, we can put it into our long-term memory. This memory store has unlimited capacity and unlimited duration, and it's where information is permanently stored. This diagram shows the multi-store model of memory, and it shows how information is inputted into sensory memory. Then if we pay attention to it, it goes into short-term memory. And if we rehearse it, it goes into long-term memory. We can retrieve that information later and output it. But the case study of HM also points to difficulties with the multi-store model of memory. HM could make new procedural long-term memories. That's memories for skills, such as riding a bicycle or drawing. However, his long-term memory for events, which is called episodic memory, was damaged. And so this shows that there's a distinction between different types of long-term memory. The multi-store model of memory doesn't take into account different types of long and short-term memory. And so criticism of it is that it's too simplistic.